Hey, Phone Science users. So in the past, we've had a number of users ask, is it possible to password protect a page in Phone Sites? And until now, the answer was really no. Now, though, there is a way that you can password protect a page, and I'm going to walk you through that. But first, there's a couple of use cases for why you'd want to uh, password protect a page, right? So, for example, like maybe uh, you want to provide gated content. Maybe it's a discount code that they get after opt-in, or it's a uh, a PDF or a presentation or something like that you want to provide after they've handed over their contact information, right? So that's one use case. Another one could be uh, perhaps you're still working on your site and you're not quite ready to launch it and you don't want someone to stumble upon it. So what you could do is you could just throw up a, a password onto your page and keep it protected until you're ready to launch that ad or that organic post. So I'm gonna walk you through the process now. Really simple, what you're gonna to wanna to do is, and you're gonna to have to password protect at the page level, not the site level. What I mean by the site level is like if you went in, uh, let's see, let's go into this site here real quick. So if you went into this site here, I've got a bunch of pages added in here. Um, so right now, you, you can't password protect at the site level, but you can password protect at the page level. So let's go back over here. So let's just say that I'm gonna put a password on this first page here. So let's just click into settings. And then in, under the settings tab in your page, you're gonna scroll down to the admin management section. And then you'll see that there's a toggle switch here called lock page. Uh, your page will probably have this turned off where it's gray, but you'll wanna turn this on and then add in a password in here. And then if you need to see what that password was, just make sure that you don't have any typos. You can click into this little eye icon here. And there you go. So I typed out a very, very, very unsecure password of password, which I would not normally use. Um, but you'll want to put in something a little bit more secure than that. Now, keep in mind, if you use the first use case that I'd mentioned before, where uh, someone's opting in to get into that gated content, you'll need to provide that password to them. So you can do that via email or SMS or something like that after they've opted in, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save after I added that password. And then let's go view this page over here. So right now they can't see anything other than this password required. Whereas before they would have seen um, something like this where you got like this navigation bar up here and then uh, you know that, that background image and then a question and so forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's type in our password here. Now, when I hit unlock, um, keep in mind, there's gonna be some stuff that shows up on my screen. That's for like my password manager trying to save the password. So just ignore all that. And now I have access. Now I have access to this page here. So again, like if I had set this up for uh, a, a site that I wasn't completely finished with, this is, um, this would prevent them from being able to get access to it. Or if this was a page that had gated content, there would be like a download button where they could download their PDF. Or maybe there's like a YouTube video in here that they could get access to. Or uh, I don't know, maybe uh, some sort of a coupon that they could download or something like that. But anyways, that is how you can now password protect pages. Pretty super simple and easy. And again, you're going to need to do that for each page. Whenever you're ready to remove the password, though, um, assuming it was the second use case where it was uh, a site that you weren't quite ready to launch, you just simply come in here and turn off that toggle switch and then hit save. And then if we go back and view our page, we can now see that it's going to load without that password. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know.